What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto, good morning. It's good to have you all back if you're new, welcome. Um, and in this video, we're covering Cardano again, or the ADA token, which is the native token of the Cardano blockchain. Um, I try to cover Cardano every once in a while or every other day, uh, practically that means. Um, because I really like the Cardano blockchain. Um, obviously it's, it's not perfect, I do know that, but still, I like to cover it. I know that there's a big community of ADA holders on this channel too. Um, so yeah, if we take a look at Cardano for, over, over the last 24 hours, not a lot has happened. It's, it's just moving along with the market, which you tend to see quite often with, with some of the bigger cryptos. Cardano being in the top 10 cryptos obviously is a bigger crypto. Um, volume is right now at 800 million, which um, is kind of low. Back when we reached that, that uh, 54 cent level, we actually had a volume of 1.77 billion. That was great to see. We have dropped down quite significantly, down to 4.8% of the market cap. So I'd like that to increase um, because for now, it's it's not looking necessarily great with uh, ADA. So let's actually delete this and let's just take a look at the price because um, what Cardano, or let's just call it ADA, what's happening is that we're kind of stuck between one strong support and one strong resistance, where if we break that resistance, we actually get a lot of bullish momentum. And if we break that support, we get a lot of bearish momentum. So what I think, uh, like, like Cardano is already doing, is I think it's going to follow the market in this. And when I did the Bitcoin analysis earlier this morning, um, I don't have a real clear bias on what Bitcoin is doing. There's basically a lot that's possible. I mean, Bitcoin is doing the same thing. You can see that Cardano is still forming higher lows. Even this low could be seen as a higher low. Uh, but ever since yesterday, we were also putting in lower highs. All right, so, so quickly said, it's, it's either going to be a break off of that 51 cents area, which would make us go up to 55 cents at least, or it's going to be a break, uh, a bearish breakout out of that 47 cents area, which is going to make us drop down to 43 and a half cents. So which one of these is mo more likely really depends on your uh, stance on the market too. All right, I, I do have my opinions and I will give them to you, but, but in the end, if you're bullish on the market, if you think we're going to have some more bullish momentum, then you could believe that we're going to break 51 cents. That's the main resistance level. If we break that, we will actually get that bullish momentum and we could even reach 60 cents. And I, I, I think that's really realistic. All right. But if you're bearish on the market and you think, all right, we had this pump, this was just a bear market rally. Now we're going to drop down again. Then you believe that we're going to fall through 47 cents and drop down to 43 and a half cents again, after which we will probably consolidate on top of that for a little bit longer and, and perhaps afterwards drop down lower. All right, so that, that's also still a possibility. Um, but for now, I mean, I have to say that I have a slight bearish uh, bias. In the end, we are in, in a big bear market. Somewhere within the next weeks, we're also getting a new interest rate decision um, from the United States, I think, and I'm not sure when. Yeah, that's actually in four days. Wednesday, next Wednesday, where um, the previous one was 1.75 and the consensus is 2.5. So that it goes up by 75 base points. Well, in the news, what you read a lot is that they think it's going up by 100 base points. So if this goes up to 100 base points and the actual is higher than the consensus, um, you can betcha that crypto is going to fall, all right? Even though crypto had a rally after the inflation rate was higher. So even though I think it's going to fall. So that's why being in a bear market and the macroeconomic circumstances make me believe that something like this is a little bit more likely. All right, so that's basically my analysis for now. If you do have any questions about it, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.